in me. Oh, Caitlin, I understand that you're worried about Thomas and his family. Brooke's paternity test could change everything for them. It already has. And for my family, too. You wanted your son to be the father. Oh, you don't think that I'd want to be sure about that? Dr. Paxson was concerned, but she was wrong. The computer glitch did not affect the test results. It's just really lucky that she didn't get to tell Brooke that they did. I think that it is so sweet of you to be so concerned about Thomas and his family. You're obviously a very sensitive and intelligent young lady. <laughs> you want to help a friend. More than anything. Then you have to let it go. Nikki is the father of Brooke's baby, and Thomas and his family are going to have to accept that, and they will. But if you stir things up, cast a doubt on the results, it's... I would have gotten their hopes up for nothing. Exactly. So you see, everything works. And now I really have to go. Mrs. Maroney, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said anything. I'm sorry. That's all right, dear. Let's just put everything behind us, shall we? Good afternoon, Mrs. Maroney. Hello, Bobby. Uh, give me a scotch, would you? You all right? You seem a little stressed. Yeah, I guess I am. Make it a double, actually. Coming right up. Excuse me. Hello, Jackie. Hi. You know, Jackie, it occurs to me that you and I have never been formally introduced. Oh, I know who you are, Mr. Sharp. Please, call me Deacon. You are not allowed to smoke in here. Would you please put that out? If you don't, I'm going to have to ask the bartender. Right, relax. Don't get your knickers in a twist, all right? Do me a favor. Give me another uh, seltzer and lime. Would you please bring the lady whatever it is that she likes? The lady's fine. Are you? No, it's funny. I just see uh, a woman, middle afternoon, drinking. I don't know. I, I can't help but think that maybe there's a problem. Especially a woman as stunningly beautiful as you are. Married to a billionaire, and I don't know. I think maybe it's going to be a big one. Hmm. Well, I assume that you've heard about Brooke's involvement with my son. Yeah, I, I did hear something about that today. Brooke's pregnancy is not a problem for me. In fact, I'm very... Well, good. That's 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 great because, well, yeah, I mean, what with the, you know, the lab results falling your way and everything, it's got to be kind of hard for Brooke, though. You know, I don't know, not being able to stay in her marriage, having to leave Ridge's kids. It's got to be tough, not being able to be with the man you love. I'm gonna guess it's probably tearing her apart. But you know, like I said, that's uh, that's not your fault, now, is it?
It's nobody's fault. It's biology. Nikki is the father. The paternity test proved it. Well, results can be wrong. They were accurate. They ran the test twice. No, sure. I mean, I, I know that, you know, the lab did their job and everything, but, you know, what if there was like a, I don't know, a computer glitch or something? What? I mean, what if there was like a problem with the computer? I mean, that would completely screw the results up, wouldn't it? <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Are you, no? You, oh, you didn't see this? Oh, my God, this is on the front of the page. One, yeah. Uh, a big stink. Everybody's ready to sue because apparently, what does it say? There was a bug that got into the mainframe and all the results for the tests got screwed up. And uh, I, this is one of the most respected labs in Los that. Angeles. I see that. Hey, If you're going to use my office for private conversations, you probably want to make sure the door's locked. You heard. Every scandalous word. Caitlin was confused. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she was. I mean, after all, you did a pretty damn good job confusing her. Now, fooling that little girl might be one thing. Fooling me, well, that's a whole different deal. So what do you say? You want to come clean with me? I mean, because if not, I can just go down to the lab. No. History. What, did the test results are wrong? No, they weren't. Well, then I can go down and discuss it with Brooke and we can get to the bottom. Deacon! You have no idea what's at stake here. Jackie, I understand that you think this baby is going to somehow bring Brooke and Nick together, but you know what? It's not. Trust me. There's only one man in this world for Brooke, and it's Ridge. Come on, my God. If she's pregnant with Rich's baby, don't you think she deserves to know that? Are you gonna go tell her? Or am I? <laughs> 